obviously you're one of the few holdovers on the new defensive staff. Mm -hmm. How has it been working with the new staff and then working with Clark Lee calling the, the defense? Yeah, it's great. Uh, familiar because of the dynamic that mm -hmm. Coach Leon had at Notre Dame. Uh, so there's a comfort level there, you know, and at the same time there's evolution and enhancement, you know, to the way that we do things and, you know, our, our relationship as well. And the, you know, the guys that are holdovers still, you know, love working with them. And then the new guys have been, have been great also. You know, it's, um, it's cool because, you know, as we kind of retool the defense, you know, we're kind of growing it together. And um, it's, it's good to have, you know, Coach Lee involved at the level that he's involved because, you know, it's the same thing that, you know, we had our relationship with Notre Dame where he taught me so much. And, um, you know, I learned so much from him, you know, that, that hasn't stopped. So it's been a really good dynamic. What is Clark's style as a defensive coordinator? Mm -hmm. So I would say it's very similar to how he is as a head coach, you know. Uh, he's, he's detailed. Um, passionate and um, it's it's not only what we do but it's how we do it so he's really good at communicating what we're doing you know from a scheme standpoint but um, obviously just as important as is the how we do it so he's very passionate about our style of play mm -hmm. and um, and that's awesome because that carries over to everything we, that we do there's there's an intent and there's a purpose to every drill mm -hmm. um, you know every every team period every drill circuit that we do, every unit period, there's there's intention to everything. So um, that kind of is the main theme across the board for him as a, both a head coach and as a defensive coordinator. How important is it to have so many returning holdovers at linebacker? R really, really important. Uh, it was awesome last year. Um, we experienced a little bit of growing pains during the season, especially with all the young guys that played and had to step up and they kind of got thrust into roles with injuries and um, you know, lack of depth in certain areas, but now it's, you know, starting to come to fruition a little bit because some of those bumps and bruises um, are manifesting themselves in guys that are performing really well so far. So, you know, uh, a guy, guys like uh, Brian Longwell, who was a freshman last year, he's a veteran guy now, you know, because he's, he's essentially, he's, he's played his first full year of college football. Nick Rinaldi, you know, he's, he's a veteran guy, you know, that's what we see it as. And obviously, um, you know, Langston has had a lot of experience the first two years on special teams and more on defense last year. But um, all these guys are, are now veteran mm -hmm. players, you know, so it's it's exciting to see that. And, um, you know, and, and uh, Prince Colley and Bryce Cowan, Ethan Chris, Carson, th these guys are all guys that now have, you know, a year mm -hmm. or two in the defense. So um, the expectation is that they – um, carry themselves and play like like veterans, you know, so that's really exciting. With Prince Colley having missed all of last season with mm -hmm. his injury, what, what do you think he can bring now that he's healthy? Yeah, I think Prince is, you know, in the best physical and mental shape that I've seen him since I've known him, since, you know, we recruited him at Notre Dame and coached him at Notre Dame. Um, so it's exciting to see his progress. And I think that, you know, a year uh, redshirting, will help him ultimately you know because he didn't he didn't get that opportunity you know at Notre Dame because he kind of got thrust into a role right away um, but I think ultimately it'll help him and you know he attacked the offseason stuff really well and um, he's a guy who's obviously super talented and um, like I said he's in a good you know mental and physical spot right now so I'm excited for that. Yeah obviously most of the defensive transfers weren't at linebacker but regardless you know what have you mm -hmm. kind of seen from those newcomers in that group? Yeah really excited about them there's some guys that have really flashed over the first few practices and um, those are guys that I feel like we've upgraded at you know all three levels at some point um, from last year and um, those transfers have impacted that for sure so it's exciting to, to see some new fresh faces and mm -hmm. the most um, the most kind of exciting thing about most of those transfers is that they've come in and they've helped elevate the culture mm -hmm. and it's not just that they're trying to fit in they're trying to help elevate it so and and there's a few of those guys that are wired for that and they have their natural leaders so I think that'll just help you know bring the rest of the group up and um, so th those guys have been really cool to see, you know, produce on the field the first few practices. Langston really kind of came into his own second half of last season. Mm -hmm. what, what further steps do you think that he can now take as a junior? Yeah, always, I mean, always areas of improvement. And, and the, the best part about Langston is he's always asking, like he's starving for feedback. 
um, this is ever since his freshman year, you know, after every practice, coach, what can I do better? Coach, what can I do better? I'm like, you know, I haven't even watched the tape yet. Like, so like, <laughs> let me, let me get to the tape first. But, um, but that's part of what is, makes him a really good player is that he's, he's hungry and he's desperate to become his, the best that he can be. And, um, so I think there are definitely areas in his game that he can improve. Um, him being able to play multiple positions, um, he's done that the last two years, but he'll be doing that, you know, most likely again this year. So um, being able to develop a mastery of the defense, I think he's capable of doing that this year. Um, so those are steps that he's making right now and making progress toward. Um, but from a, you know, fundamental standpoint, there's areas of improvement, but he's, he's an aggressive, tough player. Um, and obviously he showed at the end of last year, especially that he's, he's really, really productive. So um, for him, it's going to be a matter of like getting to mastery level um, in this defense. Do you see, you know, optimism that, that the defense can be improved from where it was a season ago? Absolutely. Absolutely. I think, um, you know, that's, that's our charge. And, you know, Coach Lee is um, obviously he's a head coach, but he, he lives and breathes, you know, with the defense. Mm -hmm. So. Um, that's going to happen for sure. And I think, like I said, there's, there's upgrades in our talent at all three levels. Um, and then, you know, in addition to that, there's, there's some veteran players that are growing into to really big roles. And um, we're just excited and, and energized um, because we know that, you know, the product that we put on, on the field last year um, wasn't to our standard. Mm -hmm. And so we're doing everything that we can, you know, and, and fighting to make sure that that improves this year. And I think it definitely will. Thank you.